I thought I would make videos talking to you about the books I read over Christmas break. And so I have the first one I got done today. It's called Lifeboat and it's by Susan Hood. And it's based on a true story. Shh, it's my dog. So it's based on a true story. And if you um, like the crossover, the way it's written, it's written in prose. So there's not a ton of words on every page. It doesn't take a super long time to read. And the whole book's like that. So that's a style lots of people like. Um, it is about some boys who, one boy in particular, but um, kids are in Europe and they, it's during World War II and they get on a ship to go to Canada so that they are not exposed to the bombings of World War II. And then um, you'll find out pretty quickly on that the boat gets bombed while they're going across the ocean to Canada. And so they end up in life. This main character, he ends up in lifeboat number 12. And so um, it's about their survival, if you like survival stories. And it's about adventure. He's on an adventure. He thinks he tries to keep a positive attitude and think of it as an adventure. And then at the end, and I'm not going to give away the ending, but it talks about from the author's note, like what parts were true. And so sometimes I wish I had read those first just so I would know which parts were true, but mostly the author does stick to um, true events. And she says that she, um, made up some details for the story, but she debated about writing a fiction or a nonfiction book with her research and decided to go with fiction so she could make it more of a story um, that kids would enjoy reading. So like what they say to each other isn't all factual, but the main events are all true. And there are actually pictures at the very back of the boy and his family. So if you think this sounds like a good book and it's probably be interested in like third or fourth grade and up um, adventure survival realistic fiction based on truth quick to read written in prose and it's on the March Book Madness 2021 uh, list so if you're trying to read some books for that it would be a good one I really recommend it have a good night